tell us about the Hawaii dementia prevention trial you did. What did you learn? Were you able to slow, stop, or reverse dementia? How did you do it? Well, it's a big job doing a clinical trial, randomized clinical trial, with all of the effort involved. We had a huge team, and we, I designed the protocol, and then the team helped carry it all out. And this lady is Catherine Blake. She's the president of the Neuroscience Nutrition Foundation. She also worked with me in the trial and is one of the authors on the paper. And she's a nutrition educator where we now work at the Maui Memory Clinic. We, and I'm his wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not forget in that case. part. <laughs> so the trial, I'd like to answer a little bit. Some of the things we learned, it was very exciting. Um, Steve put in, a, was it 16 nutritional inter targeted nutritional interventions to help delay dementia? We were working with mild cognitive impairment and trying to get it to the point before it got to dementia. Well, many things were learned, but I think that one thing we learned was that even using 16 proven ways of dealing with, you know, diminishing dementia from progressing it's a challenge to have people comply with that many changes. So maybe 16 was a bit far reaching, but we wanted to do as much as we could. Uh, My goal for the was people. to make sure that with all of these interventions, we could really get some results. And then later down the road, we can find out which of the 16 interventions were more powerful, which maybe aren't even necessary. But having all of those our goal was to take people with mild cognitive impairment, kind of the precursor to dementia, and stop them from moving into dementia. But as it worked out, it took enough time to enroll people that the average was just into dementia when we started. But within three months, they were out of that through mild cognitive impairment and in the normal range of testing. And that persisted and got better until at nine months, they were nearly normal on our testing scale. So instead of just slowing the progression of dementia, we actually wound up reversing it. And we attribute most of this to reversing vascular dementia rather than the amyloid plaques of Alzheimer's disease, which we'll talk about more as we go on. Please explain in more detail the results after nine months of the mini mental state exam scores that went from borderline dementia to normal in nine months. Well, the way it happened, we used a mini mental state exam as our key. We did have more elaborate testing, but we used that as our key for the test. And the way it works is if you're 25 to 30, that's considered normal range. Between 20 and 25, that's considered mild cognitive impairment, kind of the precursor to dementia. People with mild cognitive impairment, they tend to progress to dementia maybe 10% per year. So we wanted to stop that progression. By the time we started, dementia cutoff is about 20. So our average starting was 19. But within just three months, we'd already gone over 25. And by nine months, we were an average of 29 out of 30. So people did seem to get cognitively well within that time period. So that's how it worked. Are there any supplements that studies have shown protect against Alzheimer's? Catherine, you want to outline some of those? Oh, yes. Uh, folate has been proven to be a four times more effective in diminishing Alzheimer's uh, in patients who use it. The Mind Rush and Aging Project by Martha Clare, Clare Morris, which was published in 2018, had a benefit of 11 years of rejuvenative intellectual activity by eating only one or two servings of green leafy vegetables a day. Now, what appalls me is that who is who can you find who's not eating that many? But for those who did eat one or two servings of green leafy vegetables per day, their memory was 11 years younger. And you mentioned folate. And folate works together with another B vitamin, vitamin B12. And these two work together to create this wonderful substance called SAM-E, or S-adenosyl methionine, for long. I'll call it SAM-E. SAMI is able to quench, to methylate, to quiet the genes that make the plaques, the Alzheimer's plaques. So this is why the folate and the vitamin B12 are so effective. And we use these two as part of our interventions in the trial. 
Can diet delay or reverse dementia? Tell us about the Rush Aging and Memory Project that delayed dementia by 11 years. Well, I did speak about that a little bit, and it's just so exciting when we find a trial like this, which is examining these features. And the folate that is high in the green leafy vegetables is part of the benefit that helped delay the aging by 11 years. And of course, the other benefits of green leafy vegetables are those carotenoids. You can't see the beautiful colors when they're masked by the green chlorophyll, but they're there. And this was actually published in the most prestigious journal, Neurology, in 2018.